Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade, welcoming one of my favorites, Adam Richmond, to Behind the Velvet Rope. He's got a new show, although it's Man Finds Food is Back, but with a new name. Secret Eats with Adam Richmond on the Travel Channel, August 8th. He takes us inside the world of secret food haunts. Check it out, August 8th. All right, guys, next up, joining us, one of my favorites, we have Adam Richman. Everyone knows him from Man vs. Food. He's done just a bunch of other shows since. And now he's back with Secret Eats on Adam, with Adam. Secret Eats with, let me get that officially right. Secret Eats with Adam Richman, August 8th Travel Channel. All right, guys, so joining me next, Adam Richman. Dude, you're one of my favorites. Congrats Thank back you, on the show. You are the man. Thank you for having me back. So on. tell me all about the show. And so basically, um, like you say, we sort of rebooted uh, Man Finds Food. It's now Secret Eats. And I think the idea was just to make it much clearer about what it is, who's in it, and again, off the grid restaurants, off the menu dishes. So whereas maybe Man vs. Food profiled the iconic places that the locals loved, that cities were known for, these are the places that even the locals may not know about. Dishes that appear on no menu. Sometimes you have to have a password to get a dish. Sometimes you have to, well, in London, I'm not, I don't want to give it away, but I had to do something pretty embarrassing publicly uh, to get the dish. And sometimes, I mean, there's a false wall. Sometimes it's in um, a part of town that's maybe a little sketchy that maybe tourists don't go to or that it's really remote. But I'm promising you that um, these are the foods you want to eat, and it's in the most unlikely, awesome, beautiful places around the globe. You got to do London first episode, which is so cool. <laughs> South Africa, you got to do one of my dream places to visit. Incredible. Russia, where I'm Russian. What was... What were some of your favorites? So, like, out of all the episodes, what really blew you away? It's funny. You mentioned Russia. I had the best tomatoes of my life in Moscow. Um, Azerbaijani tomatoes. Like, did I ever think I'd ever say anything Azerbaijani was my favorite anything? But amazing tomatoes there. Um, I had incredible dishes in a type of restaurant in Warsaw that's in someone's apartment. And it turns out that there's... Um, sort of an analog for that in other cultures. There's restaurants in people's homes in Argentina, in Warsaw. We ate in a cave that's three stories below ground uh, in Teotihuacan, Mexico, in the shadow of the third largest pyramid. And, I mean, it's just kind of remarkable. We ate inside of a, a castle-walled city outside of Rome. And these are real places. We don't manufacture them. And some of the dishes are hidden. Some of the dishes are off the menu. Some of the restaurants themselves, uh, like in London, literally are only sometimes there, like the Disappearing Dining Club. And it's the most amazing, cool adventure, and yet, if you love man versus food, if you loved all my other stuff, the great comfort food, the great, well, the food makes you want to lick the TV screen, I got that too. How do you find these places? Like, I'm, I'm watching, we got clips, and I'm like, how do you figure out these places? Like, I know some of these places in New York, like, there's a hot dog place that everybody knows where you've got to go through the phone booth and that type. How do you, think, like, find out about these places? You know, I'm very blessed. I work with a great uh, bunch of uh a uh, great team, great bunch of associate producers. I have always been keeping notes. I travel quite a bit. And so basically, I always feel it's like a bunch of smugglers. You know, we have one meeting right before it. It's like we share a booty. And it's sort of like, what do you have? It's like, I got a place behind a bookcase where they only serve this dish on a Wednesday. It's like, well, I've got a bar that actually at nighttime becomes a ramen place. And like, so we find out what really depicts the city the best, what looks the coolest on screen. And then you call the restaurants. And if you find four willing participants that really show the best of a city and um, you will find things like fish and chips in South Africa, great burgers in Saigon, ramen in Manila, amazing tomatoes and fresh mozzarella in Moscow and these wild nutty juxtapositions and in the craziest spots like in an old jewelry market there's a place that makes great ribs in Mexico. What? Are they ever hesitant? I mean, these because they are kind of secret places, a lot of them. Are they ever hesitant to have cameras come in and expose them? Absolutely. I mean, I think that you sort of, they, they may be keeping themselves hidden or the dish hidden as a gimmick. So the thing is, you just reassure them, look, this will only help 
your shtick work that much better, but then you also have the locals that sort of are proud of their place and they know my show and they're psyched to have us feature them, but then they also know like, damn, people are gonna start knowing about this. But you find that people will always like, they change. We filmed at a place in Memphis that had one dish and then they suddenly added a whole secret menu and then they added a password and then, so there's a way for the secrets to evolve that the locals could still participate and yet intrepid visitors can always find new stuff to discover. Are there places that you dream of getting into or finding that you haven't found yet? My God, I want to go explore Spain. You know, there's so many little nooks and crannies, other parts of Italy, like Venice, you know, just so many little alleyways and uh, these walled towns, um, Greece, other parts of Asia. I'd love to go to Cambodia. Um, and I've never been to Australia, and I've got a, a really solid audience there. So I'd love to experiment. And, and sample Adam's other big foods. in Australia. I like that. <laughs> yeah, my, yeah, me <laughs> you and wear shirt that's like, I'm big in Australia. I like it. Man versus food's got to be legendary down there. Down under, yeah. Right. Apparently, I mean, I, I did a charity soccer event with Sam Worthington, and he said that basically when, you know, when kids graduate college in Australia, they tend to sort of spend a year traveling. And he said everybody tends to print out the man versus food locations and then they just go eat at them. So I'm glad to add a few more awesome international locations to my belt. You must have had, especially that show was such a phenomenon. Thank you. You must have had some really cool celebrity encounters. What was like the one or two coolest? Wow. Um, a bunch. Well, I saw um, Mark Wahlberg at the Super Bowl in Arizona. And I saw him at a, event he was, uh, a charity event he was throwing. And I was talking to his brother Jimmy about Wahlburgers, and uh, he was like, yeah, you should come by the restaurant, come do the show. I said, oh, I'd love to. And then, and then I saw Mark, and he was like, hey, good job on losing that weight, man. He's <laughs> big fan of your stuff. And I, I go, you know, I met you back in the day, right after Boogie Nights at a club here in New York called Veruca and this, and he goes, Oh man, you're taking me back. And you saw Mark out like really wistful. He was like, Veruca was the spot, <laughs> man. So it was just so crazy because I admire him so much as a producer and as just a hustler and as everything. He's just as a talent. So that was pretty, pretty awesome. And I would say um, there have been times that like I'll go international and I'll meet uh, a, a soccer player, a footballer that you know, speaks very little English, but we'll go, man versus food. And you're <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, totally. That's, that's, that's me. I mean, you know, Stephen Fry and Nick Frost and these amazing British comics that they care enough to, to know who I am, to even remotely care who I am. I just saw Odell Beckham Jr. from the Giants on a flight, and he's I like, hey, them. man, nice to meet them. you. And I was like, oh, my. I mean, God, I was starstruck. I love Hamilton. When I went to see it, and I was sat pretty close, and one of the cast members kind of pointed at me and I sat there like quivering in my seat. You're awesome, man. Thank you. Congratulations man. on the Thank show, you brother. So You're much, awesome. Brother. Everybody make sure to check out Adam Richmond August 8th, Secret Eats with Adam Richmond. The guy's back and I can't think of a better person who knows food than this guy, so check it out.